What's up guys, it's Akila. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be trying out some new makeup products. For one, we're going to be trying out the One Size Beauty um, Powdered Foundation by Patrick Star. I'm kind of scared, so if you would like to see how this product performed and some of the other products that I'm going to be trying out today, please keep on watching. Okay, yeah, like I said, I'm scared because I can't remember the last time I've used a powder foundation. It was probably high school, early college, so that's like 2010. Back in those days, my makeup was a hot mess, so I'm really not sure how today's video is going to go with this powder foundation. I don't even know if I have the right color for one. I was sent this product for review but I did pick the color over the computer so I'm not really sure. We're gonna start this off with moisture. Um, I've been really into dewy skin lately and I know I'm not gonna get that with this powder foundation. So I'm using the e.l.f. Puff Puff primer. You guys know that's like my go-to primer. It doesn't matter what I'm trying on. But I'm letting you guys know right now if this color doesn't look good or it's just looking a hot mess. I'm going to take it off and try something else because I do have other like um, foundations and things to try out. Okay, so this product is called Turn Up The Base. You can get um, One Size Beauty at Sephora. It's exclusively sold at Sephora. And I have shade Dark 4G. I think the G stands for Golden. Um, I've been seeing a lot of mixed reviews when it comes to this powder foundation. I think it's because it kind of oxidizes on some people so I don't want to use any oil based products because I know that's going to make it even worse. So I guess I'm just going to leave it at the primer and, and put on some setting spray for moisture. You know what I probably should conceal right now because you can't really put cream products cream or liquid products on top of powder it just doesn't work that way it will kind of give you that cakey blotchy look so I wouldn't recommend so I'm using Pat McGrath's concealer in MD 22 this color is like my skin tone and then I'm going to use a color that's just a little bit brighter I mean if there's anybody that wears powdered foundation and like use it on a regular basis let me know down below and like what is your routine when it comes to powdered foundation do you conceal or do you just put powder on your face and go because that's what I used to do when I used to wear it I really didn't have a method to my madness I just was putting on powder foundation and walking out the house like literally looking like a thumb no eyebrows just powder foundation and probably some lip gloss i'm gonna go ahead and set the powder just to be on the safe side okay so according to the box it says that it's medium to full coverage it's supposed to blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores while controlling shine it's buttery buildable and comfortable to wear it's supposed to give you a velvet matte finish can be used to blot, set, and touch up skin. Even if you don't want to use it as powder foundation, you can layer it on your liquid foundation. So here's what the pan looks like. I did swatch it. I'm going to use it on this Jaclyn Hill brush. Um, I think it's like her foundation brush. Okay, I'm not going to judge. I'm just going to put it on and then see how I feel about it. This is definitely not my color. Um, and I also don't like the way it looks on my skin. Um, I don't really feel blurred. I'm gonna use one of these little puffs. And I have a blemish right here and let's see what it looks like. Okay, 
you can still see it so, oh no i think i might use this for bronzer i don't really like the way it's looking on me right now it's mainly because it's the wrong shade but i'm not really feeling the powder foundation craze right now um i didn't review the fenty one because I just, I just didn't feel like buying powder foundation this one was sent to me for free so i thought i would try it out for you guys but it's just not for me i'm gonna take this off and we're gonna try again okay i'm back makeup is off um i have two products that i kind of want to try right now one of them is new to me but it's not new it's not newly on the market but it's the hollywood flawless filter and it's not really a foundation but it kind of is like I don't know but i've tried it and i really like it and the next thing is the um dior forever natural nude this one's new and i have tried it but i haven't done a video for it yet this isn't the way i wanted my dior video to go but we're gonna demo this today because i feel like you guys need to know about it if you haven't tried it yet let's go ahead and reapply primer so i got this during the sephora sale and i have it in shade 6.5 deep and i freaking love it it's so nice it gives me the dewy skin that i'd be saying that i want so so badly so yeah it has this little doe foot applicator and i'm just gonna blend it in with my morphe brush look at that it's just giving skin it's giving skin It's not full on the coverage whatsoever that's why you could wear this alone or under your typical foundation just to give you that glowy look oh so yeah so this is what my skin is looking like with it on yes it's hella glowy yes it looks a little scary but just keep on watching so my last video that we uploaded we used the Fenty bright fix and I said that I wanted to try it out again so we're gonna do that in today's video okay so I'm gonna correct with pumpkin again even though I should have probably did this under this um, foundation but I've seen Jackie Ina correct on top of her foundation so we're gonna try that out today hopefully it doesn't look crazy and then use this color under my eyes this time last time i used almond butter but we're going to try the actual correcting shade pumpkin might be too dark to do on top of my um foundation so i might go back in with um that foundation color again just to be on the safe side you don't want to look orange and plus the coverage of that um, Charlotte Tilbury foundation is pretty light so it might not cover it 100% I kind of want to get back into using um, my sponges to blend everything out again like sponges really make life easier when it comes to like blending things out but I also do like using brushes because brushes give you a lot more coverage but it is a lot more work. This time I'm going to be using my favorite concealer which is the Pat McGrath concealer. We're going to be layering that on top of the Fenty corrector and see what that looks like. I use M17 and MD22. Let's put a little bit here. I'm going to go with a sponge because I feel like that's the route that I want to go today. Okay, so I have this huge sponge from Sonia Kashuk that I picked up from Target. I originally saw this sponge on TikTok. I went out to find it. It was sold out and I recently bumped into it. So we're going to be trying this out. My concealer looks so good right now. Like I'm not seeing any grayness compared to like um my last video. When I tried out the Fenty Bright Fix by itself, I definitely saw grayness, but using it in conjunction with the Pat McGrath concealer. Oh wow. And usually sponges soak up your product and that looks good. I'm going to be using Laura Mercier Honey to set. I haven't used Laura Mercier in a minute. 
ever since I um, started using the minted um, powder but I wanted to change my method of how I was setting my powder from last video because it could have been an array of things that brought out the grayness. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that. And I'm going to use the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. This is in shade medium 3. And try to keep it away from the powder because I don't want it to look crazy. Then I'm going to be using my Sephora Micro Smooth to set the rest of my face. You guys know I've been struggling to find my Morphe um, setting powder, like my luminous setting powder. Like I haven't seen it since I've been back from California. And I'm going to stop trying to find it and just buy a new one because I'm sick without it. That is like my favorite setting spray and I keep trying to use other ones in replacement and it's, it's not giving me the same thing. I've been using the Dior perfect fix um since i've been back but it's good but it's not giving me the dewy it's and then from there like i kind of tap it in okay so here's what my skin is looking like like i told you guys it wasn't full coverage but i really love the way it makes my skin look and i think under my eyes look pretty good too okay so now for my eyes we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Chocolate Palette. And as you guys can see, I have touched it. I have used it a little bit, but it's really good. It's like one of my favorite palettes right now. I've tried a few of Huda's palettes before, but this one is definitely my favorite of the ones that I've tried. I've only tried the, um, the Mini Obsessions palettes, and this one is the one it's the one um let me compare them yeah i'm gonna compare it to the medium nude obsessions i think this one came out last year this is what it looks like and here's the shades uh, as you guys can see i like brown shades it's not the fact that i have so many brown shades is not stopping me from buying these palettes this one is just a little bit more warm i love the transition shades in this palette way more than this one we're gonna start off with using this shade right here my favorite shade in the palette and we're just gonna like just tap that in the crease this use this darker shade it's like a liner Blow that out a little bit. Let me use a little bit of concealer for the inside parts. Okay, so I was trying to try something new. I've never done this kind of eye before, but I don't think I did too bad. We're gonna fill that negative space in there with something lighter, probably. We're gonna try this light shade, and if it doesn't work out, we're gonna go on top with that one. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the transition shade that I used in the beginning. Bring some warmth to these lines. Okay, so eyes are done. I definitely feel like this eye looks better than this eye, but I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. So we're gonna pop on some lashes. We're gonna put on Shiyo by Caprio NYC. If you see my favorites video of the month, those lashes were definitely a favorite of mine. Um, let's put on some mascara before I put these lashes on. Okay, my lashes are on. They might be a little extra. They might be taken away from my look. I'm not sure. I mean, when 
a blank you can see it but when my eyes are open like you can't really see it but it is such a vibe i really love these lashes um you know what we're gonna give this powder a shot as bronzer maybe i can use it for that might not be dark enough but oh okay it's giving a little warmth i might i might use it for bronzer like since everything is so neutral like let's do like a nice pop of pink for blush um we're gonna do the laura mercier sangria blush i feel like this is just gonna be everything i like that Okay, so as usual, we're going to be using KKW Nude 3 Lip Liner. It's about that time that I pick up in a replacement, but I'll get around to it. Okay, so I picked up some of the lipsticks from the Huda Beauty um, Sweet Nudes collection. Um, I have another shade. I swatched it on my Instagram, but I don't know where it is right now. So we're gonna be trying out this one. This one is called Habibi. So let me swatch it for you. That's super pretty. I love how creamy it is. It is scented, but lightly scented, and it feels really good on the lips. I really like it. Mmm. I love that color okay um my makeup is pretty much done i've been forgetting to put on like um highlighter lately we're gonna be using the dior copper gold quad i wonder if they still sell this one i'm not even sure i feel like this came out during christmas it might have been limited edition but if i find it i will definitely link it down below i think i'm gonna try this shade right here it's kind of melanie golden Ooh, I really love these um, highlighting quads from Dior. They're really nice. I'm going to be using this facial mist by Milani. Wow, that is a hell of a spritz, but I like it. It really drowns my face in setting sprays. I'm going to do a little bit more. And it smells like oranges. I really like that. Okay, much better. Okay guys, this is my final look. Um, I love the way my skin looks. I highly recommend that um, flawless filter for that glowy skin look. If that's what you're going for this spring, summertime, this is definitely the cheat code to it. So yeah guys, we started this video off trying to try something new, but it didn't really work out the way I thought it was going to work out. So we had to improvise i ended up using the the one size powder as bronzer it looks a lot more better that way y'all let me know if y'all use powder foundation like what is your favorite powder foundation and what is your method because it just wasn't doing it for me yes it was the wrong color but at the same time i don't feel like it blurred anything i didn't like the application it just I just rather put on liquid foundation or no foundation at all than put on that powdered foundation so yeah you guys let me know down below give this video a thumbs up if you like today's look or found it helpful and if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video